In this video, we'll model an iPhone. Trace it on a piece of grid paper and make sure that the phone is aligned with the grid lines. Then take measurements. I used a digital caliper. Import the JPEG into SketchUp. Make sure that image is checked. We're going to trace this. We won't trace it exactly because we have to click on it to trace and since this is just a JPEG, there's no geometry to click. But we can still trace it and then adjust as needed later. Let's resize this. Click the tape measure on opposite ends and then type the size wanted, in this case six and a half inches. Verifying that size, we'll see that we're a little off. It's six and seven sixteenths. So I'm using the pencil now to trace it. and then the arc, the two-point arc. I only need to draw the arc once because I'll copy and mirror it later. Let's get rid of that little bit. Now if you wanted to adjust the size to make it exact, you could draw guidelines and then offset lines to those guidelines. But I'm just going to go with this as is. With move and control, I've copied the arc. And then with the scale tool, I'll drag it a bit to the right, type minus one and that mirrors it. Then I'll move it in place. Now I'm selecting these two arcs and the line. With move and control, I'll copy them. And with scale, I'll mirror them. Again, drag and type minus one. And move it in place. I don't need the image anymore, so I'll just hide it. Select everything, and then with the Make Face extension, make a face. Now push pull up the thickness. The edges are sharp and we need to round them off. And we'll do that with another extension. Go to sketchucation.com and download the round corner extension. You'll also need to download the libfrito extension. Install them by going to window Preferences, Extensions, Install Extension, and then install each of them separately. These are free downloads. 
and Sketchication is free to join. Let's move that out of the way. And there's the round corner toolbar. Click round corner and select all the edges. Now type in an offset value. I had to experiment a bit, but 0.04 looked like it worked the best. And there are the rounded edges. Then click to exit that tool. Now we need to draw the outlines on the top. I'm dragging guidelines the distances that I measured earlier. Then trace them. Drag another guideline on which to center the button. Now you'll have to also add all the other features, the speaker holes and the camera hole and whatever else is there, the plug-in for the charging cord, but that's all I'm going to do here. Finally, we'll need to give these features a little volume to make them 3D printable. So just push pull them down a bit. And there you have it.